Welcome to another YouTube video. <clears throat> I haven't done a video for quite a while, so I decided to come back uh, to do some more. Today I want to cover three ways of getting the natural minor scale. So I've drawn up a keyboard here on the board. So what I want to do is first of all just write out uh, the alphabet. First seven letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm going to repeat it again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now where I want to take it from is here. I want to talk about the E natural minor scale and the E major scale. So I want to take it, take these alphabetical letters here from E to E. So let me write them under here. The first one's going to be major. So I'm just going to go E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Well, I tell you what, I'm not going to write another E. Well, just a minute, well, I'll tell you what, yeah, well. Now, if you notice, that's just the alphabetical arrangement from E to E. It's not a scale. Now, to produce a scale, we've got to do the tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, major structure. Okay, if you're not familiar with that, go back to my previous lessons lessons 1, 2, 3, 4, and you'll soon get a gist about what this major formula is. Now the result, it will be E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and again, back to the E. Put some brackets around that. Now I want a number as well. 1, 2, 3, Now, I want to repeat this, because that's the first way, your tone, tone, semitone structure, to, to get to a major scale. So that is a major, E major scale. But that's not really what we're interested in today. But we, I want to get to these, these major scales in order to show you something with the minor, natural minor scales. So I'm going to put um, E major. Now over here I want to repeat it again. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Again, that's just the alpha. Alpha, better to go on, not a scale. Now I want to produce the E natural minor scale. Now there's a different formula than this one here, so I'm going to do it in red. It's tone. Semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. Now I'll show you why we get that later on. But it will produce B, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Back to the E again. So the only difference there between that is this F sharpened. So that there is the E natural minor scale. E natural minor. So that's your first one there. It says tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. From an alphabetical arrangement of E to E, taken from there, like that, and it 
sharpened to F. So we've got E, and you've got tone, F sharp up there. And then semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. So all the sharpened is the F. Now that's the first way, then the second way, I've got three minutes to show you these quick ways. I want to just use the D e major scale, because these are quick ways to do it. So let's do, let's do it in red, no, in blue. I want to rewrite out here the E major scale, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp. into an E natural minor, I'm just going to put major here. In fact, the third way that you're going to find a, an E natural minor, I'm going to show you on another lesson, because I'm going to show you using the G major scale how to get it, all about relative scales. But for now, this is the quickest way. If you know your E major scale, write it out, and then use this formula. One, two, Flatten the third, four, five, flatten the six, flatten the seven. This is the quickest way, and it will, will result in E. That remains the same, F sharp. That's telling me to flatten that G. That remains the same. That remains the same. Flatten the sixth. Which is obviously flatten the C sharp, so we're going to with C. And again, flatten the seven, so from D sharp to D, back to E. And you've got E natural minor. I put nat, M I A, that's natural. E natural minor. So if you can establish your major scale like I did here, alphabetical, tone, tone, semitone, get to your E major scale, write it out, and then go 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7, and that's your E natural minor scale. That's the second way to produce it. That's your first, that's your second. Now I'm going to write up something else on the board on the next lesson. And it's going to be all to do with the G major scale and how that relates to the E natural minor scale. And it uses the same notes from the scale of G major. So, um, yeah, pause that, have a look at that, and see if you can establish some usefulness. Now, I'm going to do some notation, and I'm going to do guitar tablature, and some picking patterns for this as well later on. So, if somebody, this particular one here, E natural minor, and I'm going to cover E uh, minor pentatonic, E major pentatonics as well later on, but if you think about the G scale, the G scale is something I want us to cover, and playing chords on the G major scale, you want four or five chords, and then doing a solo using that scale, or the E pentatonic minor scale. Okay, thanks for watching, and do look out for my next video, please. Cheers.